had it. Because it seemed like for the first few days they were kind of apprehensive about the deep balls. Yeah, and I, really I think as they, underneath. you know, as they continue to gel every day with the wideouts, you know, that every wideout runs a route a little different. So as they learn how each guy does it and, you know, continuing to get reps at it, they'll, they'll continue to get better and better. And where we're at after practice six is pretty good. Right. And I think, you know, by the time we're at game one, I think we'll be all right. So, for, for example, for Jack Sears, what are some of the things that you've seen him kind of get better at through these six days of practice? Again, making a decision and living with it. Uh, understanding what, what's going on. Um, you know, making a quick read and pulling the trigger. Like I said last night, it, when they pull the trigger quickly and they don't hesitate, usually good things happen for them. And, right. and he's doing that right now, which in turn makes it look a lot better. Right. So, same question for JT. Anything that you've noticed about him specifically that's improved noticeably? Well, every day for him is a new day. You know, every, every day he's getting a little more stacked on him as far as the install goes. And, and every day he's it's kind of getting a little faster, a little easier, and, and every live period we go and every team period we go, he's improving. So that that's kind of all you can ask for at this point. And uh, where he's at as a 18-year-old, actually high school senior, right. is unbelievable. Yeah. So he'll, he's going to be just fine. Right, so for, from a technical standpoint with JT, is he much more advanced than you've seen from other professionals coming in? Just in terms uh, of mechanics? I don't know about mechanically. You know, we're, there's some things we got to fix mechanically. He knows that. Um, you know, where he's so far advanced is his mind. Um, that's what that's what's really impressive about him. You know, mechanically, there, there's things that we need to get better. And, uh, you know, the kid's a willing learner. He works his butt off, and then he's working at it every day. And we'll continue to do that. But more mentally with him is what's really impressive. How do you teach a quarterback to for his mind to catch up to his, his body? What do you mean? Well, it, again, it's reps. It's how many times they do it in a live setting. Um, you know, you saw today, we, we went and did Skelly, and Skelly was one of our best Skellies we've had so far. It was as good as you can ask for. And then you get to team, and it's not quite as fast. It's, it's, the decisions aren't made quite as crisp. And, you know, obviously now I got four 300 pound men bearing down on me. You know, things are a little different. So that's why we're doing less and less Skelly and more and more team periods. And, uh, They'll continue to get better at it, and but you know every day there's an improvement. But we got to continue to not make the same mistakes twice. That's obviously what I'm looking for. Is once you make the mistake, we correct it, and you got to move forward and not make that mistake again. And eventually, there's not any more mistakes left to make. You know, so we're working at it every day, and they're doing a nice job. How do you evaluate differently once you get the pads on versus t-shirt and shorts versus shells? How do you kind of evaluate those three different types of practices? Well. Obviously, the most important is the live settings, the team settings. It's, it's not, I don't think it's groundbreaking. You know, it's when they're in a live setting, obviously that's going to hold more weight than being able to do it in, in, in underwear and being able to do it in 7 on 7. It's, it's not any really anything more than that. So, what we just talked about what they have improved, and what do you want them to, what do you want to see more from them? Uh, we got to play a little faster. You know, we got to, we, there's still, you know, I, I, we're not perfect. You know, we got we got a ways to go in that regard, but they're they're getting better. But we just gotta we gotta see things a little quicker. Um, a lot of stuff is about personnel. It's about certain guys running certain routes, certain matchups. We gotta see those matchups a little quicker. Get the ball snapped where the defense can't adjust. And here we go off and run and run a play. So, but again, that that comes with reps. That comes with doing it over and over and over again, and they get better. It's it, it's like anything else. Good guy.